Hi, this is Kanababu. This is part 11 of ASP.NET. In this video, we will discuss about some examples on checkboxes and radio button. In the last class, we discussed about conditional statements, when to use, how to use. Before watching this video, I strictly recommend to watch part 10 so that you will get the clarity on conditional statements. Here, we will try to apply those. Okay. Here, you can say I will try to go to project, add new item, select web form. The name I will give as uh, some uh, checkbox check demo dot aspx and go to your design is it clear and you have to design the form here go to your design window and here you can go to your table insert a table number of rows to columns to press tab button and here you can press tab button and here you can do some small design of your form so go to your toolbox and here you can drag and drop one label uh, text box control from toolbox this is your text box and here you can drag and drop checkbox controls here checkbox one here checkbox two checkbox three three checkboxes or four checkboxes you can add and here you can drag and drop one button control and here you can drag and drop one label control this is your design actually so here I will write something like enter your name, enter your name and here I will try to write something like select course, is it clear? this is your design, select the design and here I will give bold, here I will give double x large, something like this or x large. Now select the checkbox, right click, go to properties, here you can give the text, something like java, here you can give the text, something like dot net, here you can give the text, something like uh, angular <coughs> here you can give the text <coughs> something like uh, dot net core okay now these all are the uh, uh, check boxes so check box you can select more than one item among group of items before this i want to explain you a small topic here for example string string s is equal to ab now here i will write something like s is equal to s plus cd and here I will write S is equal to S plus CF. Is it clear? So plus operator is called as concatenation operator. Operation operator. It will perform addition operation between numbers and concatenation operation between characters. Now initially in the first line what happened? This is S. So what is the value that is stored in S? AB. Okay na? now here left hand side of assignment operator always consider as variable. Right hand side always consider as value. Now here S means AB, AB plus CD. So AB, CD is stored in S. Okay na? And here again S is AB, CD. AB, CD plus CF. So final value is AB, CD, EF. <coughs> this is how you can perform concatenation operation with strings. So similarly here also double click on the button. So whenever user enter the name and select the course display anil some name. Some anil your courses are so and so. So here I will try to declare one uh, variable string s is equal to empty. So checkbox always use multiple if as we already discussed in the last class. If you want to select more than one item and execute, um, um, want to check multiple conditions and execute multiple conditions then use checkboxes multiple if. So here I will write something like if checkbox one dot checked, checkbox will have a property called checked. It is a boolean property which will return either true or false. And whenever user check the checkbox at runtime, this checked property will become true. Then here I will write S is equal to, here I will write checkbox one dot text. Checkbox one dot text. Is it clear? That is the course name is stored in S. Similarly, if checkbox two dot checked is equal to true, then S is equal to S plus checkbox two dot text, something like this. Here I will try to give some comma or space whatever it may be. So string, string plus string is string. Checkbox also will accept the data in the form of string. Okay na? Similarly, here I will try to take. If checkbox 3 dot checked is equal to true, S is equal to S plus checkbox 3 dot text. Similarly, if checkbox 4 dot checked is equal to true, then S is equal to S plus checkbox 4 dot text. It is used to select more than one item among group of items. That is checkbox. 
So finally display the output in label. Label one dot text is equal to text box one dot text anil anil that is string plus your courses are that is also string inside double code plus yes that is also string. So string plus string plus string is string. That is how you can work with checkbox controls. It is used to select more than one item among group of. So here let us say I will try to give Anil Kumar select dot net angular something like this Java click on button. So here you will got Anil Kumar your courses are Java dot net angular dot net core remove this Java okay now remove this dot net something like this that is how you can work with check boxes it is used to select more than one item among group of items are you following similarly here we'll do one more go to project add new item select web form here i'll try to take radio button radio button dot aspx go to your design here go to table insert table number of rows to columns to press tab here i'll try to take one tab button okay now here i'll try to go to your toolbox drag and drop on text box control is it clear here you can drag and drop on text box control and here you can take radio buttons radio button one here radio button two and here i will try to take one more radio button here again three radio buttons i will take radio button three four five every control will have id id purpose is to identify the control here i'll try to take one button here i'll try to take one label so here i'll write something like enter your name enter your name here i'll try to write something like select gender here i'll try to write something like select bank okay now select the radio button one go to properties text i will try to give the text as mail and here select the radio button to go to the properties here i'll give the text text here i'll try to give as female and here i'll try to give the select the radio button select bank text i'll give as spi state bank of india another radio button you can select text text i'll give as access and here you can select one more radio button text text i'll try to give as icic but always for radio buttons you have to group the radio button select both the radio buttons here you have group name i will try to give the group name as gender both the radio buttons name must be same here also i will give the group name as gender okay now here you can select the radio button here you can give the group name as bank something like this and here also another radio button group name bank and grouping the radio buttons then only you can select only one among that particular group okay so radio button always use if else or else if that we discussed in the last video radio button always use if else or else if so i want anil is male your bank is so and so i want to display so in order to catch this gender male or female here what to do you have to use if else here for uh, bank you have to use what else if for bank you have to use else if here you can log into my world of angular group and you can register my group this is angular group as well as world of dot net also is there is it clear lot of updates or any new materials i'll try to post in this group world of dot net and world of angular facebook groups okay so here let us see uh, here what I, I want to do here let us see here double click on the button and write the code this is my world of angular group try to join all of you similarly world of dot net is also there all the dot net related mvc related high end materials and everything i'll post in this group is it clear world of dot net okay now double click on the button and write the code so for radio button here what i will do i will take one variable string gender is equal to empty and here i'll write if radio button one dot checked is equal to true then gender is equal to radio button one dot text 
else gender is equal to radio button 2 dot text radio button 2 dot text okay now this is if else and declare one more string for bank string bank is equal to empty is it clear here i will write something like if radio button 3 dot checked is equal to true then here you can do bank is equal to radio button 3 dot check uh, text don't uh, uh, use concatenation here i am writing if else for gender and i am writing else if for bank similarly here i will try to give else if radio button 4 dot checked is equal to true then bank because i want to display only one value no no need of this um, concatenation similarly else if radio button 5 dot checked is equal to true here i will try to go bank is equal to radio button 5 dot text this is if else for what gender this is else if for what bank finally i want to display the output so here you can write label label 1 dot text is equal to anil that is text box 1 dot text plus give some space is plus gender variable plus bank is plus bank is it clear what are the value that i kept in this gender i want to display here bank i want to display here text box one dot text will display here concatenation final output will be displayed in the label one by default label also will accept the data in the form of string label also will accept the data in the form of string so here you see if i try to give anil kumar or i will try to give my name kanna babu and here i will try to select mail and here i will try to select access kanna babu is mail bank is access or bank is icici something like this so like this you can work with radio buttons mostly checkbox uses multiple if radio buttons uses if else or else if, if two radio buttons have uh, if else see how to take the decision very simple how many outputs what is the possibility of getting the outputs of gender either male or female no two outputs no use if else what is the possibility outputs for uh, bank possibility three sbi access or icici out of possibility only one will come finally but how many possibilities three possibilities so use else if check boxes multiple if like this you can work with this examples yes sir no so i'll give you some case studies also try to complete that in the next video i'll give you the case studies some uh, examples basic exam i will give you some uh, homework examples all of you try to complete that uh, examples okay na? so that you will become expert in this basic level controls okay na? thank you for more videos try to subscribe to my channel have a nice day